We're in for some mild activity this week in space weather. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, you can actually see a coronal hole that's going to be rotating in through the Earth's strike zone and sending us some fast solar wind. But we also had on the 3rd a solar storm launch. Now this solar storm looks like it's launched kind of west of Earth, but it should graze Earth in and around the 7th. So between the fast solar wind and that solar storm launch, we could see a bit of activity. Now as we switch to our five-day outlooks here at high latitudes for solar storms. NOAA is giving us a chance for active conditions, but we do have up to about a 40% chance of a major storm. And this is going to be right around the 7th and in through the 8th. And this is because of that solar storm that's been launched and it's going to be followed by some fast solar wind. And it could be until about Thursday before things begin to calm down. Now at mid latitudes, taking a look at our outlook here, it's not quite as bright. We do still have active conditions that NOAA is expecting, but only about a 10% chance of of a minor storm. And again, this will be right around the 7th when that solar storm grazes us, and it should be followed by some fast solar wind again. So Aurora photographers, if you're at mid-latitudes, eh, you might get a scope of a chance to get some uh, Aurora shots, but if you're at high latitudes, well, you could have some three or four days of some decent views. Now, taking a look at our active regions on the Earth-facing disk, you can see we only have four numbered regions in Earth view this week. That's because all of the activity right now is on the sun's far side, and it's going to be beginning to rotate back into view in about a week or so. In fact, as you take a look to the east limb, you can see a little bit of activity. That may be one of the bigger flare players that's going to be rotating into Earth view, probably starting in about three or four days. But meanwhile, the regions that are on the Earth-facing disk really aren't that big a deal. We don't have have any big risk for radio blackouts. In fact, as we take a look at our solar flare and radio blackout outlook for over the coming week, we are having solar flux in the 140s right now, but it should ramp back up possibly to the 160s as we get close to the end of the week. But everything right now is really low uh, risk for radio blackouts. It's pretty much all in the green. We might get a little bit of noise uh, starting around Thursday as some of those regions begin to rotate back into Earth view, but radio propagation on Earth Earth's day side is in the good range, and G even GPS users, if you are on Earth's day side, we don't have to worry about radio blackouts very much. Now, as we also switch to our uh, radiation storm and polar aviation outlook, we don't have any risk for radiation storms right now. In fact, because none of the active regions on uh, Earth bit on the in Earth view have any radiation storm potential, we're all in the clear. So, you frequent flyers, and this does include air crew, everything should be in the green this week, and you're all good to go. For more details on this week's space weather, stay tuned for my longer forecast coming later this week.